So here I have a Sunfire True Subwoofer and it weighs a ton. So let's check out the fuse first. And this the fuse is a 5 amp. Just note it should be a 6 amp uh, fuse there as indicated. So this is the internal circuitry. To open it up, you just pop in the corner. There's a take out the 12 screws around on the outside, and then you can just kind of pry out. There's a little bit of a seal there. We'll be having a look at and testing. There is definitely going to be a short, and there are some power transistors down there, probably for the audio. So check out the there. So I'm getting a short here. It's probably this this uh, board down here. And we can disconnect that and that will isolate this circuit here. Okay. But I did to test shorts on these guys. So we can disconnect the speakers. Okay, this is the speakers here. Instead of taking out these individually and testing what you can do so th since this is a MPN MOSFET, I'm just using my power supply with 5 volts, putting the positive to the drain, and then the negative to the source. And well, this, this is kind of where the, the short is. This one right here is heating up pretty good. So here I have two of those out and if I connect one pro to the drain and the source you can see I'm getting I'm getting a short circuit basic here and here but on a good one getting half a volt that's open this should be open here so definitely we have a bad component So after testing it out, I found that the rightmost MOSFET and leftmost MOSFETs were bad, so I had to replace them. They're from Japan. They're those are for the audio, and then also an RF640 MOSFET needed to be replaced. There was also some other burnt components like these resistors here, but I wasn't. I can't even tell the value of it. But I am measuring some ohms, so hopefully that's fine. I didn't replace those because I'm not 100% sure what value they have. Uh, or originally they, what they were, but it should be working fine. So let me measure these burnt resistors. I'm getting 262 ohms.
After replacing those parts, the light turned on, so it's the it doesn't have a problem with the power anymore. Uh, hopefully, it's it's uh, all working. And uh, if you like repair videos, please uh, like and subscribe, and then uh, you can. I'll see you guys in the next video.